Hello folks, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing a homecoming transformation. This video is not sponsored, but David's Bridal did send me these items for free, and I'm going to be showing you guys them at the end of the video and how I style it. David's Bridal is your one-stop shop for anything that you could possibly need for homecoming. Earrings, clutches, heels, and most importantly, dresses and they have sizes from 0 to 24 so it's super size inclusive and I wanted to thank them so much for partnering with me in this video and you can shop any of them in the description box. As you can see I'm looking kind of crusty. I have a pimple here and don't let my uh, camera fool you for some reason it just makes my skin look really nice but we're really crusty. My eyebrows literally like crusting off right now and like here and I had to put on some of that aqua for but we're still kind of crusty. So my school actually doesn't have a homecoming dance. The only like ritual we have is like we have the spirit week, the football game, and then at the end of the football game, instead of a dance, we have this huge letter P that's like the size of a building and we light it on fire. I don't know how I feel about that. I would much rather just kind of have a dance, but it is what it is and I am not going to let my school dampen my homecoming dance spirit. I'm still gonna make all the content that you guys want. I'm gonna go homecoming dress shopping, get ready with me's, my look, you know, stuff like that, even though I suck at makeup as you've seen in my prom videos, but that's fine. Let's just do this, okay? So this morning, I'm going to be getting my nails done. As you can see, my nails have grown out extremely long and they do not look good, so we need to get that fixed. I got these back in Shanghai, which was like July 14th. And today is August 7th, so it's been like almost a month and that's a little bit concerning. So yeah, let's go get that done. Hey guys. Hey guys, we're getting our looking cute. I love this like chompy look. <laughs> I'm with Christina, we're getting our nails did. Super cute. We can't touch the phone, so we're using like my wrist to do everything. <laughs> Just had to flex my natural nail looking this good because I've never ever seen it this long in my entire life. So these are our nails. Christina got like a periwinkle and mine is like this peachy color with two like iridescents. Shout out to Top Nails by Anna because I love them. So what I really really need is to do my eyebrows because I don't know if you can see in the camera. I'm gonna try to zoom in right now, but oh my goodness, this camera's good. As you can see, I freaking have a unibrow right here and then over here it's growing like crazy. I've always dealt with super, super bushy eyebrows from my dad. So now let's tweeze them out. I, I used to always go to Benefit Brow Bar to get my eyebrows done because I like the ladies there, but then they all left and went to start their own stuff. But I don't know, I guess I'm just lazy and I never tried to like book an appointment over there. So I'm just gonna try to tweeze them myself. And then I spent a really long time trying to find a good like angle to film this. And I finally figured it out. Also just to note that I am not going to be trimming my eyebrows at all because I cannot do that to save my life. And tweezing is the most I can do. I'm not gonna shape or anything because I don't trust myself. We're just fixing the unibrow and like the underneath stuff. So I'm not even gonna attempt to um, shape my eyebrows at all. I just did a little bit of a cleanup and that's it for now because I'm in pain. I should probably put on like some aloe vera or something because it's kind of red. But um, after this, I'm going to be doing my toenails because my fingernails are already done and I love them. Horrible lighting. I look nasty because I just showered, but right now I'm going to finally do my toenail polish. It's literally 10 p.m. at night, but I just want to do it now because I need them for tomorrow. And so I have my cotton balls and blah, 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 gloves and my acetone because I need to first remove the coat that I have right now. I did this in like mid-July and that is not it. It does not look at all good anymore. So I need to remove it and put a new coat on. The reason why I don't do it at the salon is because I feel like no one even looks at it and it's so far away like from your vision that you can't really tell if it's a bad job because I definitely can't do hands because you can see it like right here and I do horribly. So it's good that um, the feet, I can just do it and save some money because no one can see anyway. So this is how my toes look now. Not that good, but that's okay. From far away, it's not bad. 
hi it's nighttime and I look really bad and I don't know why I'm showing you this because honestly it's good that I'm showing you this so you have low expectations if you ever happen to see me in real life because I know some of you guys actually know me in real life and you're like catfish when you see my Instagram but anyways um I'm gonna be waxing my lip now because my lip is really really hairy and I'm literally crusting off so um so yeah we're gonna be addressing that and I'm gonna wax my lip for the first time by myself I've done it once at a salon but never on my own so let's see how this goes so I've been warming this up for literally like 10 minutes because I just don't want to actually do it because I'm a little bit nervous because I don't want to mess up but it's okay it'll be okay I'm gonna cut this in half first so it's like a better size apparently. Oops. Oh, that's on the floor. I did not do that well at all. Oh, I messed up. Oh, wow. Haha, -ha, that was kind of good. Ooh, I got the hairs off. Dude, I could get used to this. Oh my goodness. Guys, I got so much off. It said to not do the same area twice, but um, <laughs> that's what I did because I didn't really do a good job the first time, like, all the way around. But, guys, it looks so good. Like, you can't... Oh, my goodness. This is, like, the before side, and this is the after side. It looks so good. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of these little waxy bits, but, um... Yes! Haha, <laughs> I got it good. I used to use Nair, but that stuff did not work well at all. I love this. Look at that wonderful hair. So I'm just gonna tweeze a little bit of the remaining and then try to get the wax off somehow. And then tomorrow I'm gonna see you guys and we're gonna do the makeup and the full look and see my dress. Hello, so today is the final day of me getting my everything together and we got our stuff waxed. Oh, let me show you my lips now. Now you can see. Hairless, still crusty though, but we're gonna fix that with some makeup now and then afterwards I will show you guys my dress and all my accessories and stuff Which is the best part first thing is we're gonna go for this new moisturizer I got it's called the glow recipe Watermelon juice moisturizer and I like it cuz it's super like liquidy when it goes it goes like right on and it smells good, obviously. It smells like a light watermelon, and I just love watermelon, so this is great. Next, I'm gonna use some Super Goop sunscreen, because you gotta stay protected. This is what my beauty blender, and then we're gonna use Fenty Beauty Foundation, which is the one I've been using for a really long time. And I just don't get another one because I rarely ever use foundation so I have to just keep using the same one because if I buy more and try other ones then that would be a waste of money because I never even use it I've been using this same one for like oh my almost two years is that bad by the way if you guys ever notice like me doing something really horribly wrong or, or just have tips let me know because I am in no way a makeup guru or anything I like suck at makeup I never do it so that's probably why I suck so I am super super open to any suggestions or tips you guys have because I need it foundations done we're gonna do concealer next Fenty Beauty again I like their stuff because it looks pretty light on like it doesn't look super drastic and I'm born to that look Next for contour, I use the Fenty Beauty Mocha Match Stick. I really like it a lot because it blends out super nicely. And you know I really need the contour because my face is an egg. Except I don't really know how to contour. I think you do some like here. I don't know about that one, but I do know this one really works. Then we're gonna do the jawline but stop at the chin because I need my chin to look a little bit longer so my face looks longer and then under here for the double chin okay so I'm gonna use my sculpting brush from Real Techniques okay and then now I'm going to try to contour my nose a little bit just because 
I need it. I have a very Asian flat nose, so I'm gonna try to give it a little bit of a bridge or something. I don't think this is the right brush to do it at all. Okay, I think we should just stop. That literally did nothing, but I'm worried I'm gonna ruin it. So <laughs> let's just leave that alone. We're just gonna go with the this type of nose today. Then let's just do some blush. I use this Milani Rose one, it's so pretty. And I just got it on Amazon. Okay, for eyebrows, we are not gonna be doing it because whenever I try to do my eyebrows, they just get crazy because they are already pretty crazy like this. So let's not mess anything up with that. And then I'm just gonna wait for Christina to come over because she has her naked eyeshadow palette that she's gonna let me use. But because I never use eyeshadow, so I don't really have one. So I'm gonna wait for Christina to come over and she's gonna give me her naked palette to use. And then I'll do eyeliner, mascara, and we're done. I'm not gonna be doing falsies because I suck at doing falsies. Like, it's just not gonna be it. You know what I realized I forgot today? Primer. I didn't put on any primer today. Well, well, it's too late now. So I'm doing my eyeliner. As you can see, I'm just doing like a little bit. Wow, it makes my eye look so much bigger compared to that one. Okay, I'm not gonna try to do a wing because um, I always try to do a wing and then it's just really, really bad. I don't know how I feel about this, but whatever. Let's do mascara now. I have my lip gloss. I use the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm and it's literally the best. I wore it in one of my videos and you guys kept asking about it, so this is it. So now I have it on. It's super glossy. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, so that's my makeup look. Right, oh, look. that's the lighting. So this is the final look. So David's Bridal was nice enough to partner with me and send me some of these items for this homecoming look to show you guys. So I have these dangly earrings and this super sparkly rhinestone clutch and to finish off the whole sparkly thing i have this dress look at how she sparkles i'm obsessed with like glitter right now and it's super poofy it has this like tool underneath and it just makes you look like a princess oh. <laughs> So my camera ended up dying, so here I'm on my iPhone. The last shots were filmed on my iPhone, and I'm just going to do this outro here. So thank you guys so much for making it to the end of my little transformation video. I hope you guys enjoyed this because I love watching other people make these videos. Don't forget to give this video a like. Comment down below what your thoughts were if you have a homecoming. And you can check out all the products down below. I'm going to link everything. Thank you again to David's Bridal for partnering with me on this video and sending me these items. You guys can check out some photos that I took if you follow my Instagram right here at kkatelee. And subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when I post another video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!